right, so welcome back everybody to MagFast. I'm here with uh, the three, now is it just you three that are on, uh, that are on Run, Jump, Dev, or do you have an entire team like in addition to it? So um, Run, Jump, Dev is a game development nonprofit from Kentucky, so um, we have a lot of members, you know, uh, that are all making different games. So we've got um, six of us that are here this you know weekend for MAGFest. Oh, excellent. Uh, well, in that all, case, uh, I'll have you three representatives introduce yeah. yourselves. So starting over there. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I'm Alex. I, I'm, I'm along for the ride with Run, Jump, Dev, but I'm actually from Louisville, Kentucky instead of Lexington. But we all hang out together because yeah. Kentucky doesn't have uh, an enormous amount of, amount of game developers, but we have a, a, a pretty decent rep, representation. But yeah, anyway, so um, I'm from Louisville Makes Games, um, which is uh, a little group of people making games in Louisville. Yeah. yeah I'm John Meister from um, Lexington, Kentucky. Um, I have a, a studio called Super Soul. We'll sh show off our game, but I'm also one of the organizers for Run Jump Dev. So we do all kinds of different things um, in Lexington and work with people in Louisville and in you know, Indiana with Nathan. Hey, I'm Nathan Fouts. My company is Mommy's Best Games, and I'm based in southern Indiana. And yeah, it's awesome to be part of the whole group there. Okay, so you all, you all kind of come together as this group from your different backgrounds and like development areas to, to make Run and Jump Dev happen. Right, yeah, so we, okay. throughout the year, we, you know, do different events like this, where we um, bring together different games from the group and bring it to events. Um, we've done uh, MAGFest for several years now. Um, we do uh, things with, like, the Louisville Arcade Expo, the Lexington Comic and Toy Convention, um, and so we just try to have uh, places where people in, in our group can show off their games that they've worked on, and so... Um, MAGFest has uh, a really cool indie arcade um, area. So these are all indie developers that are making games that have sort of an arcade aspect. And uh, so that's what we're featuring you know, this weekend, uh, is doing uh, games that kind of have some arcade controls or some interesting um, alternative controls besides just an, an, like an Xbox controller or something. OK, very cool. So. In that case, um, do you have anything else to show here, or are we gonna, or are we thinking get into the game? Yeah, so these are just kind of uh, videos of all the different games uh, in our space. So we've got, um, you know, alternative controls where, um, you know, it's kind of a unique control deck. Um, you know, maybe you have um, sensors. Uh, there was one, uh, Space Jeff. Um, where you have Centen this table. One, oh yeah, let's, this one has a hundred buttons. Oh wow! It's a fighting game. And so every round, uh, the, the actions uh, that you have is randomized to all 50 buttons for each player. Really? And so you, every round you have to figure out what button does what. Uh, where is the punch button? Where is the kick button? How do I play this game? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, you know, here's, um, I'm blanking on the name here, but um, it's kind of like a DJ rhythm music game. Awesome. Um, what's the controller on this? Wait, I think I have those speakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so was it like a turntable that was the controller for that? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a oh, turntable. Okay. Um, um, and it's our 20, uh, 25th. He's um, one of the developers in, 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 the, in our group. And then this is Kentucky Dash. Um, so we've kind of got our arcade pedestal set up. Um, so it's up to four players. So you have like wow. a control deck we made custom yeah. uh, that you can play. Um, I love custom controls, personally. Yeah. I, I think it's just so neat to have that stuff going on. <laughs> Yeah, here's a here's a group a uh, group that's not actually part of our Kentucky crew, but they have a game that is controlled with a giant hat. It's a very big hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is more of the hundred button fighting game. Wow. There's my game. There's Alex's game. Mushroom yeah. game in a mushroom cabinet. Oh sweet. Um, this is Amy's game. It's a it's Space Jeff, and you control it by uh, sitting in that seat and like kind of moving around a little bit in the seat, okay. <laughs> like drifting around in space. Nice. It's pretty cool. So. Oh, wow. Okay, so these, this is a lot of cool stuff that we got yeah. going on over there. And how, so how many of these do we have set up over in the MIBS area right now? Wow, I don't know. There's well, it's behind the MIBS area. Yeah, so, oh. there's, so there's a third of oh, the in, MIBS. In the arcade, right? Yeah. In the arcade. That's right. And it's the, the merch is in the far back, and we're in between those two. So Sweet. It could land, so there's yeah. 20, 30 games. I mean, at least. Yeah, at there's, least. There's, yeah. there's sort of a... 23, base, wow. There's like a, a section that has very traditional arcade cabinets. Like Nathan has a 
kind of a retro um, cabinet. Okay. And um, it's in that section. And then there's sort of these art games that are sort of on the other side. Well, I'm going to have to go over there at some point. All of, all of them, even the retro arcade ones, are just awesome to play in person because you just don't have that hardware at home. Yeah. So, like, sitting in a chair <laughs> is totally crazy. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, alternate <laughs> stuff. Like, I, I love the idea of, like, the 100 buttons and just the, like, the DJ turntable and just all these different ways to play, like, even bring in multiple people. Like, I think that's so cool. Yeah. So, so these three games you're showing today, those are all ones that are played with controller, or are they supposed to be played with kind of different hardware and we're just showing it with controller today? Um, so I, th I think most of ours that we're going to show today are more traditional. Designed for controller? Okay. Yeah, you yeah. can get them on Steam, you know, and, yeah. and be able to play them on consoles or really? PC. So um, they're easier to demo here on the stage than bringing this custom arcade. So that's why really we wanted people to, you know, kind of show it off here at the beginning because we want people to go to the indie arcade section um, here at, you know, in the Mivs Hall um, to play all these games that, you know, you really can't play anywhere else. These are like one of one most of the time. Um, mm -hmm. People have assembled them on the floor, you know, the, uh, in the past couple of days. So, um, you know, basically you can't play it anywhere else. Understandable. Well, I'm excited to play these. That's, I am very, very, just, I'm curious as to, you know, just seeing some of the design space you all looked at, just gaming-wise, what we've got on the table today. So what are we playing first? Switch. Yeah, you want to play um, uh, Bumpy Grumpy? Sure. <coughs> Let's do some Bumpy Grumpy. Let's yep. Plug in. Grumpy. Bumpy Grumpy. We'll leave that up. I'm going to turn off the... So this is a port of an old arcade game. Um, and I'm going to let you jump in and make sure the sound works too for people. Yo, absolutely. Yeah, I, I want to hear the sound for it. Oh, it does. Come in. There you go. Can you all hear it as well? Perfect. Yeah. All right. Avoid red lights. Uh, oop. Get Sunday driver slow. <laughs> Okay, so, so we've got all kinds of cars here. Yeah, it's a really, it was a pretty obscure game. Um, it was actually made in like 1983, and if you go to um, the Mommy's Best Game site, you can read about the old company called Occidental Designs, and if you're really into video games and arcade history, it's got a really um, wild history that you'll all appreciate. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you should, there's some lore with this game, so. It may have been made recently, or it may have been made in 1983. We'll never know. Excellent. But. Well, I'm excited to see how it plays. Yeah. I remember playing it at Pizza Hut as a kid. You played it? Oh, I used to play it at the laundromat. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's basically where I got into, you know, arcade games is the Pizza Hut, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's lost all his business papers. No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so all you right. change lanes really fast, like you snap. I see that. Yeah, there's no, there's no like smoothness. So you to can it. be super fast about it. Okay. So the whole idea is to just uh, basically stay out of the way of all these folks. Yep. Oh, you got a power up. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. All right, do I have the ramp though? Get out of my way. Oh, it's going away. No, you can't. There you go. Oh, oh. That's the speed demon. Oh, so you he's know. just so he's just on you if you yeah. slow down too much. And you got the gas can. No, I'm sorry, sir. I have to stay at the red light. <laughs> You're being really careful. You must be a good driver in this real the, life. Yeah. Right? I try my best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang, it's the ramp though. Oh. Oh, that's merging without a signal. He's a total jerk. I feel like jerk. that's like driving around here. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I don't know. I've looked, I've looked around Midwest, and I don't feel like uh, our average is too good either. So. <laughs> Speaking of which, I double lane changed. 
So then, uh, so is there lives in this game? Or? Yeah, you're on your last life. Oh, excellent. But you do get extra lives. You got one and you, yeah, you can get, oh, there you go. Well, unfortunate. So, if you look, you got to the second level. Oh, okay. And there's uh, a pit stop after every level. Let me see, it I should be able to go to cancel, yeah. yeah. And then you can enter your high score. I see, so, okay. This is a traditional high score game. It actually has an ending, which is kind of unusual. It's actually got four endings, four different endings. And they're usually based around how many papers you picked up. So your character is Frantic Frank, and he's trying to get to work because he has a boring desk job, right? And all his papers got blown away and he, in his briefcase. And so he has to go pick them up. And based on how many papers you, you can grab before the end, you get a different ending. Interesting, okay. And all through the way, this is your commute to work. <laughs> So I don't know why, where this guy lives, why he goes through the grass and the cows and the mountains and the cactus, but. Hey, he's got, you gotta make it across the, apparently across the country. This man's it's a crazy. commuting all the way from yeah. New York to California. <laughs> it's a crazy commute. So yeah, it is a high score game, but um, there's a ton of score depth to it. Um, and there's a ton of ways to get more points. Um, and it's, it's like learnable. So there's like a lot of depth to it. Yeah. yeah. This is a cool game. And you said this, uh, all of these are over there within the arcade, right? Yep, oh, yeah, and this is on the floor in an arcade cap in, uh, that I built as well. So, okay, well, I don't want to take too much time away from the other two games, but I want to come play this in the cabinet while, uh, sure. while y'all are here, so that'll be pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, cool. cool. Here, uh, enter that, press the button there. Sure. We'll jump over and we can yeah, switch show, it Yeah, show me what else it's got. Hmm. Yeah. We just switch over? Sure. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, let me get out. All right, so Bumpy Grumpy. Like I said, if you're wanting to try this out yourself, Indie Arcade. These guys will be here. Y'all you are here all weekend? Yeah. Excellent. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, we're here all weekend. So, yeah, Nathan built a really cool custom cabinet. I'm uh, excited to see the cabinet cool. itself. Hardware is like a cool piece of all of that. Yeah. So, because I noticed it has like, it had the border on it, which to me yeah. seemed like a cabinet. Sure. All right, now we're gearing up for game number oh, two sorry, here. Uh, oh. We got controller number two. All right, well, I can play one, but I'm gonna have trouble playing with two different controllers, so I'm gonna need an assistant. Do you need another gamer? Oh, would you look who we found here? Remember from this morning? Hardcore cottage core. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening with this game already. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is my game. Um, I'm a solo indie dev from Louisville, Kentucky area, okay. southern Indiana. I live in New Albany. Anyway, um, yeah, so um, my wife helped me with some of the environment art. Um, and it is a... Oh, I don't want to spoilers. <laughs> uh, it, it is a uh, Vampire survivors light game uh, okay. with a cozy cottage court aesthetic. Interesting. And so um, the cottage core, uh, hardcore cottage core is for lovers. It's coming out on... Uh, it's coming out on Valentine's Day. Oh, there's already a sequel that's being. No, this done. is this game's coming on Valentine's Day. This is a demo. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, that's exciting. It's um, uh, there's a Steam festival going on called the Remote Play Together Festival, um, and it's a it's a game for for two people uh, to play together. We're uh, two people. Yeah. That is true. Two people who care about each other very very much. Aww. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Um, so, so it's, it's co-op. You're playing together. You're trying to. Uh, the the story behind the game is that there's a uh, Mushville is this uh, land of, of mushroom people. Um, their land is being uh, devastated by these drones that came in, and they're um, trying to mow everything down and build an Amazon warehouse. And so, uh, ah, well. throughout the course of the game, you have to find uh, the Bezos' evil plan and uh, try to save your mushroom community and uh, and fight back. Um, yeah. So, cottage core themed weapons. Yeah. We can't have that happen. We need to destroy <laughs> them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, pick your character and hold the button to start. It's on arcade mode right now, so green button is A. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Uh, and please play the first level because it has music. Wild Farm Meadow? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, oh. player one, hold that down. Yeah, I see it. So this like one doesn't have music yet? 
damage. So you start, you start out, you pick your, you pick your first weapon, and then that's what gonna kind of, kind of steer your build. Like so for you the, pick a different one. I'm gonna fix more shield. I'm a defense kind of guy. Yeah, that's this stuff. All right, what do we got? How do I shoot? There is no shooting there. You just walk around and uh, pick upgrades. Oh, sweet. So I can play this one handed? You yeah. could, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, but I need to let the shield recharge, maybe? You see an upgrade? Um, That looks like an upgrade. You get it? I'll get the next one. I don't know. Let's touch the so bomb. That's, that's a little snack. It restores some of your health. Oh, perfect. I think I lost some of my health, <laughs> so. No. I thought oh. I died. <laughs> <laughs> you died, too. No, that's a good bomb. Oh, a good, good bomb. Okay. It's, all the, it's all a the good bomb. explosion. All the don't worry. <laughs> I have become one with the tree. Oh, yes. excellent. Yes, <laughs> nature. I go in and help me smack. Oh, are, oh, oh. where's my shield? So that makes sense, yeah. Oh, they have multiple hits. That's why. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Uh, I tell you what. I'm bad Be against this good I am guys. almost dead. <laughs> oh, now we can upgrade. Um, you can choose oh, now. You can heal now. yourself or you can get better weapons. So you got to make a choice. Oh, I like Oh, the snack. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, I can create uh, sports. Let's see if I can one-shot. Oh, I can oh, one-shot. Oh, no. Now I got bullets. Don't worry. I'll kill all the little guys. I'm going to need you to kill the big ones, though, because the, they get a little too close. These vintage doilies. Yeah. Are a little too close to me. <laughs> That's the, the Hey, don't worry. I'm, yeah. I'm hitting them with the defense attack. The vintage doilies start out really weak, but ah. when you have a lot of upgrades on it, it becomes you basically become a soft blade. Excellent. How how does it, how do I upgrade my existing weapons? Will that be a choice in yeah. subsequent? Mm -hmm. Oh, these guys are so hard to kill. You're gonna have to kill the big guys. Wait, what? You I'm, died. I died. I mean, maybe it was me, but <laughs> I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> well, that was quick. Hold on. Let's, let's sure do it one happened, more man. time, here. Hmm. Oh what? Oh, that's. I am. This, I am the second. Yeah. Now I'm on this side. Excellent. We're definitely. This will not throw us off in the slightest. That might have been a blue guy. Player one. <laughs> <laughs> I've only been working on this for like two months, so that's there, okay. there, there's still some. Uh, okay, not the shield. Still some. Yeah. Work. Let's do. I'm, uh, I'm committed to the doilies. I'll do embroidery hoop. Yeah. Embroidery hoop. Really? Pretty good. Oh. At the beginning. Yeah. It's like a. The big weapon. Bigger doily. Oh, there we go. Here's the big swing. Okay, hold on. I like this one. Okay. I see the XP bar at the top now. Yeah, oh, did you not see that last time? <laughs> no, there's, I, I'm too busy looking at my fluffiness. The XP is shared and okay. you uh, collect wow. seeds. Wow. You get enough XP. If we stand on top upgrade. of each other, our weapons You're combined. right, we're invincible. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not invincible. Oh, uh oh, we're pseudo. Oh no, this is not working out as well as I thought. Quick, I need this one to spin Oh, there's food slower. on the right. I don't know what's happening now. That one wasn't me. I think I, I think I have uh, some sort of bug. Yeah, that's that's all right. Sorry well, about that. Hey, well, well, you definitely have mushrooms. Uh, yeah. This <laughs> is me. So, what inspired the characters? Out of curiosity. Um. So. Do you want us to do the second one or stay on the first one? Uh, you can try it if you want. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's got uh, different scenery and stuff. Okay. Perfect. Um. The characters are inspired by, uh, I don't know, I just like cute stuff. And, oh, uh, over there. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, yeah, this one's a little barren because it doesn't have the music. Oh, yet. the shield again. <laughs> oh, we get to listen. Yeah, yeah. So the, this is for SFX enjoyers. <laughs> this is ASMR. Yeah. Yeah, I like cute stuff. There's a, there's like a, uh, Aesthetic trend going on right oh. now with cottage core stuff. Did they drop? Just like uh, cozy cat, like. I can upgrade it up to nine flowers levels. In the cottage. We're going That's all in on good. the pea shooter. You know what? Let's, let's do that with the shield, too. Yeah, you, you gotta take Nature stuff. So, those yellow things, it's dropping XP that we're picking up? Yeah. Cool. So, what are they like? Lemons? I need to stand in the middle so I can hit more of them. Oh, there's a bomb on the right. Oh, perf. Go get it. I'll, I'll, use it I'll distract him. Come here, big guy. Get him. And yeah, bait him over Just here. Just stand on it. Okay. Oh, we okay. created a One big guy's perfect. <laughs> Gave me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're just dead. Ooh. Pea shooter. More shield. More. Oh, let's pick up more XP. I'm curious if it's going to reset it in 60 seconds here, because I think I have a bug. It... Oh, like it's resetting based on the timer? Yeah. We survived! No. We did it! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go find else. another bomb. I don't know. Sounds good. Yeah, we're going to need that for... Just run oh, straight okay. to the right. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Our people need us. Run! Don't run through the enemies. What, I, you have the shield. What do you mean? I'm oh. perfect at running through the enemies. Oh, never mind. Carry on. <laughs> Eat this food. Dang. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it's on some kind of timer. Sorry about that. That's okay, <laughs> though. This... Do, you, do you want us to do another round? Switch to the next game? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, do you have any questions about the game? Any no, it's super fun. Yeah. Yeah. So it's... um. Uh, 
It's coming out on uh, Valentine's Day. It won't have that bug in the final game. <laughs> I sure <laughs> yeah. hope so. There's going to be three levels and um, uh, lots of quests in each level for like different things that you find or destroy to try to keep there from you know, your meadow from being replaced with a Amazon warehouse. I like it. And then you said that your game's already, like, is it just a cabinet, or do you also have it released as, like, uh, you said on Steam, possibly? Wishlist on Steam. Wishlist yeah. on Steam. Exactly. All of our, all three of our games, please wishlist on yeah. Steam. Yeah, we'll go through them again at the end, but you definitely want to check them out. You can search for Hardcore Cottage Core for mine. Two player, four player game. Oh, yeah. We do indeed. We got one more. Yeah. I'm, I quite like the characters. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're, like the the aesthetic of both of these so far has been really fun. It's like, fun. That hardcore cottage core is like it. It's so it caught me off guard, but I like it a lot. I think like I I feel like my wife and I would actually really enjoy playing this game. So yeah, I have yeah. to keep this in mind. So it's two players. You're gonna do more than two, or like just two? Just two. Local. I mean, you could do one or two. Because yeah. she's a big Dynasty Warriors fan, so I think okay. it's kind of it's almost in that same cool. vein. Yo, Kentucky. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so this is the Kentucky Dash. It's the game uh, we're working at. Um, oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah. The 100 button game. Really? Yeah, so oh, perfect. this is um, a lot of the people in the game are people that have worked on the game or like tested and given us feedback and stuff. And then obviously there's like wizards and ninjas and stuff. It features all my favorite named characters Amanda, yeah. Emily, football. You know. <laughs> so the idea is that you can unlock, like as you play, you unlock these costumes and different characters. And um, so it's a, a kind of an endless runner. Um, oh, there's costumes. Uh, oh. Procedural platformer that um, is set in Kentucky. So you can kind of go through all the different parts of, of Kentucky. You're going to um, have to advise me on this one. Mechanics. I'm not a Kentucky like expert. <laughs> well, you don't have to be a uh, Kentucky expert. Uh, although, you know, Abraham Lincoln, you know, so. <laughs> My favorite in Kentucky, yeah. So yeah, you, it, it, this works from one to four players. Uh, this is sort of in demo mode, so it kind of uh, goes to the multiplayer. There will be a single player. Um, so then press X to start. And so you can play cooperatively or competitively. Let's do cooperative. Let's play go. Just so you can, like, it's easier um, to see how kind of it works. So um, this uh, kind of uh, starts off with sort of a tutorial kind of sequence. So as you're running, you, you want to... Wait, you nerd! Where are you going? <laughs> Away from you. Oh, no. Am I just God. dead? So you yep. said uh, cooperative. Uh, yes, cooperative. I, I failed at the cooperative. <laughs> it's, it's one of these cooperative games where we declare a winner um, as well. So <laughs> it's, it's my favorite like, kind of cooperative game. Cooperative game. So yeah, we, we kind of rank how well each player did at the end. Um, but as a team, you're trying to run as far as you can. You want to stay on the fence line or basically not touch I'll the ground. I'll Sudoku for you. Yeah, so there you go. So now we can start over. Did you see players. that billboard? <laughs> yes. There's some friends with billboards did, did on there. Did you see that billboard? No, I didn't. It was. It, <laughs> okay, when we go this again, I hope it shows again. up again. Uh, yeah, we'll go in prison. We we'll go back. Oh, we we'll go back. And then yeah, we'll let's try. Retry. Let's retry. We'll just um, watch it again. So again, it uh, procedurally generates. So every kind of round or pl oh, run, sweet. you start in different places. All the the different elements How do you are dash? different. Oh, so, the X button. Oh, so okay. jump and I mean, yeah. just, the A. just try all the different buttons. See, one Perfect. of them's gonna work. <laughs> Ooh, right in the thing. Okay, but you gotta pay attention. Uh, is there billboards in this one too? Uh, well, so this is in Mammoth Cave essentially. So um, okay. So if you you know the next time <laughs> you run, or if you run far enough, I'm bouncing. Oh, Ooh. if you <laughs> transition, <laughs> if you transition far enough, you'll you'll run to all the different areas. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, yeah. What's well, A guy? Yeah. Is really yeah. Good. <laughs> really lazy. Everyone. Entering their name. <laughs> I can't believe it. Going on a nice mountain hike here. Oh, it's a B button you drop. Yeah, B button is a oh, downward okay. dash, and then the Y downward button dash. is used for special abilities. Um, so like ah, here, no, go come back, come back. I'm there's, coming. There's like a hang gliding <laughs> section down. in this one, so you can like hang glide and you press oh. Y to like fly up. You, and you, what? You forward. didn't jump. It's green. It's a hill. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How did I die to a hill? I must have stubbed my toe and twisted oh, yeah. an ankle. Yeah. So. We, for whatever reason, you die when you touch the ground in this game, so uh, it's just a fun mechanic uh, to run. Do not touch grass. I repeat, do not touch grass. We have learned this today. Okay. So as uh, 
you may have picked up on this already, but you pick up the numbered pickups or how many seconds get added to your, your countdown clock. Nice. And then um, the coins are used at a store that shows up where you can buy uh, like upgrades, like double jump, or you can um, buy like jetpacks or pogo sticks or things like that. Pogo sticks. <laughs> I think I so fell onto a pogo stick earlier. Yeah. Yes. You got a pogo stick. and So that's like you bounce automatically, so it's more difficult. But then when you hit the ground, you get one last bounce, so it bounces you back up. So it's kind of like an okay. extra life. Um, but it's, it's, you're always bouncing, so it's huh. more difficult. So we can maybe go to the competitive mode. Oh, is there? I was trying to get to a shop. Are there shops? Yeah, there should be. Well, so we're adding these areas. So we're in early access on Steam. Okay. So we're we're working on a big update here for Magfest, um, where we're gonna add a bunch of content. So maybe let's just go ahead and press uh, pause and quit. And what we'll do is we'll go to competitive mode. So now you can play against each other. So oh, this perfect. is sort of last person standing. So whoever um, is alive, you know, last uh, wins the round. And you have to get three rounds to win no. the match. It's only a one time <laughs> use. <laughs> oh, rats. No, That's, ground. Yeah, the <laughs> ground. You don't. You got to avoid understand. the ground. Yeah. yeah, so this is up to four players. Uh, so um, yeah, you can have. Uh, you know, all kinds of different the combinations water, of people. The water. Yep. It's like, if it's a solid color, it's going kill you. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so is this playable online out of curiosity? Um, we are Rats. experimenting with doing that. So right now we have sort of, it does online play where it uh, you see other people running. Hey, try this one. <laughs> oh, I, I guess. Okay, yeah. 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 Clearly Lincoln is just yeah. a stronger character. Uh, <laughs> so it, it basically shows the ghost of other people running. Yeah, see, so yours is just That's what I'm saying. And there's a daily late <laughs> leaderboard. Uh, so yeah. Oh, a daily leader. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, everybody, or each day, it has a different sort of course, and so you're competing each day. Okay. As well as oh, right. the, the generated ones. Oh. I played this level. Ha, about oh, Wait, did, what? Did he not jump over that or something? Yep. Yeah, so you can jump when you're skiing. Okay. Yeah. I couldn't even see that. Yeah, I think we're gonna maybe we should make the boat a little smaller. It's kind of hard <laughs> That's to a see big the, boat. the obstacles. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, no, but I. <laughs> <laughs> so there, and a lot of times. Oh, a lot of times it's a really fast round, and so then it randomizes and goes to another place. And so there's different mechanics for each each area. I'm used to looking for the Lincoln hat. This is not working for me. Yeah. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> I, I knew it. Oh, uh, no. I just need to wait long enough for you to fall in a pit. Yeah, true, actually. That That's uh, very much a strategy is if going out fast, you, you kind of encounter all the obstacles first. So some people kind of stay back and let the others. But the leader also is able to collect uh, coins. Nope. Oh, you gotta, you I'm gotta just dead. Like, bounce up the, <laughs> oh, yeah, OK, uh, OK. Or have you tried running left? Yeah, that's true, actually. So yeah, that's uh, sort of the the, um, the game, basically. And so then we'll have single player levels where you can kind of go through a campaign and unlock new characters and, and uh, uh, you know upgrades and things for, for your outfits and your person. And then oh, you can run online, basically, so you can compete every day. And people can see you know, who can run the farthest and who can get the most, most points. So I feel like that sounds like a ton of fun. Yeah. Oh, it looks like only one person can get the, the bounce thing. Oh, I said that earlier. Yep. Uh, so it, what happens is if you both kind of are close together and hit the bounce pad, it'll shoot both of you. But there's a after a couple seconds, gotcha. it goes away. So it allows people to like hit it and get collectibles and things. And then uh, see, look, there's you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. <laughs> All right, here's yeah, okay, we made it to the shop, finally. Yeah, so, so you got a high jump, you can get extra time. We got 68, um, is that shared? Do we each get 68? Yep, so, you're, uh, so this is co-op, so you're working together. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so like, you want high jump. High jump, jump. so go ahead. So you, it's a special. Yeah, so you hold, um, you kind of like jump where you press the Y button instead oh, of the regular jump. We got like a bar, that's our special. Yep, that's your special Sweet. meter. So go ahead and press A to leave the store. That's you. Ah, yes, that's right. And so, yeah, you <laughs> press Y and you, you jump really high, like, uh, hold it okay. kind of like oh, a jump. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. So, uh -huh. some of the fun ones are like the jetpack, um, pain gliding, yeah, the pogo stick, because like you already had that. So, that's pretty fun. <laughs> I wouldn't call it fun. <laughs> well, interesting. Keeps it interesting. Yes. We need to, like, split up, like, one of us take. Take the high path. Yeah. So we can maximize our. Oh. 
Pogo oh, here we go. We are both pogoing. Oh, perfect. I'm sorry. Oh, and oh, God. on the lake pogoing. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. <laughs> I don't like this. Reduce that. Reduce that. Reduce that. Reduce that. Reduce that. That's, dash that's pretty good. good. That sounds good. I love dashing. Do it. But do you want the pogo stick? Well, you've already got the pogo stick. Oh, perfect. So probably not worth it. Let's get out of here. Spend Save her money. I mean, yes. You should try a dash. Oh, no. Don't worry. Carry on without me. We reduced our. Oh, it's a duck. <laughs> I've seen one of these before. <laughs> yeah. How far can he get? Ah. So yeah, it's really fun. Uh, in previous years, we've had like big oh, tournaments uh, you know, here at Magfest, and had like all really? kinds of different people trying to win the tournament with the longest distance and stuff. So. Are you running tournaments uh, during Magfest this year? Yeah, we'll, we'll be having some tournaments and stuff. Um, people can come by and play and basically compete uh, with other MAGFest uh, you know, attendees. Y'all hear that? You go over there to Indie Arcade, there's tournaments of this game going on. I'd highly recommend trying it. It's yeah. pretty dang fun. In the MIVS area and Indie Arcade, there's a bunch of tournaments from all the indie developers, so it's a really cool event. Amazing. All yeah. right. Awesome. Lots of cool stuff. I really like that 100 button fighting game is just an experience if you've not done it. Yeah, it's just, I, I, I need to go over and try it because, yeah. yeah, oh, it looks hilarious. Yeah. yeah, so thanks for having us. Yeah, it's kind of a, a group from Kentucky, Indiana um, that, you know, working together on driving the truck with all kinds of ar indie arcade games. So it was really yeah. Is there anything else you going to show off before we switch nope, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of the basics for this one and just a good demo and we hope, um, yeah, everybody comes out to the, the MIVs um, in indie arcade area. About it. Anything else? Wish list our games on Steam. Yeah, yeah, wish list. So oh, yes, Kentucky yeah, let's go back through the games uh, real quick. So, Kentucky Dash and then. The wish lists are surprisingly important to the yeah. developer. Yeah. Like, it helps us get somewhere with the algorithm that decides if we're going to be successful or not. Absolutely. So. Yeah, so Kentucky Dash, uh, uh, Hardcore, Hardcore Cottage, Cottage Core, and then uh, Grum. Uh, Bumpy Grumpy. Grumpy. What was that again? Bumpy Grumpy. Bumpy Grumpy. Bumpy Grumpy. Bumpy Grumpy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, go check out all of these on Steam. They're all there. You're gonna want to check. You're gonna want to play them. Yeah. I can play them here. Wishlist them on Steam. Just, ooh. Awesome. Great experience. Well, what, once again, thank y'all, all of y'all, for coming out here to uh, be on the Magfast stage. And if, if anybody chooses, oh. Person. Here. If you find us on the show floor and ask us about our game, we'll tell you the secret codes. Oh, yeah. And also, we'll give you a hundred dollars if you wish. List. Okay, now the last part. John, John will give you a hundred dollars. The other guy sign off. Can't be That's what I heard. I did not sign off. This. <laughs> All right, you'll get a hundred dollars from him apparently, not the other two. No. <laughs> got the but yes, we yeah definitely we can tell you about the games and stuff and. It'll be fun to play all, all of them there. So, Oh, yeah. Bring your friends. Yeah. I just don't want to see that authentic cabinet. So. Cool. Uh, we're going to set up. The next thing we have coming up is the Juggle Show, which is honestly one of my favorite things that we do on this stage. So stick around for that.